Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the 2020 Year in Review for the SCP Foundation Wiki, and let's just say community in general. It has been a wild and we'll say pretty crazy year for the SCP Foundation and the world in general. We've been experiencing multiple uh, Keter class <laughs> breaches and XK class scenarios, uh, one of which is uh, COVID-19, uh, which has been a serious problem all year for a lot of people. So a lot of people have been staying home. Maybe a lot of people have been reading the SCP Wiki, especially early on. But uh, we've, uh, we've gotten through it, at the very least, for now. <laughs> and we're now about to head into 2021, and I'm sure it'll be great. In the meantime, let's go over a few of the uh, a few of the things that have happened this year. So the very first thing I want to talk about is uh, the contests. This year we had several contests, and I think it's it's not entirely new. Like contests like this have been uh, done before, but uh, this year was almost defined by the contests that were run. We had. The SCP-5000 contest, which brought us uh, the new classic Y, which I can go over uh, as we're doing this because they're almost all they're all contest entries. So this works out. The top five articles for the year. SCP-5000 is almost rated at plus 2000 now. So uh, I guess people really want to know the answer to that question. Uh, the m actually second rated one is also another. F yeah, another 5000 contest entry. Mm. This one is by, let's take a look at the co-authorings, originally by Shaggy Dreadlocks, and I believe his co-authors are, let me see here, there we go, Modern Erasmus, The Sherm, The Volgan, and Wodenaz, uh, who have all, uh, who all get to share in uh, uh, another article that's above plus 1,000. Uh, give SCP-5999 a uh, check, uh, a look one of these days. Um, and SCP-5031, which isn't quite over a 1,000, but it is at 971, so it's feel like it's worth mentioning. I'm going to leave the other two out since they are below a 1,000. Um, this one is a JamCon 2020 entry, so there is that too. Uh, give those three, at the very least, if you want to get up to date on the wildly popular things this year give scp 5000 5999 and 5031 a little bit of a look but they like i said this year has been defined by its contests we had the scp 5000 contest which had a mystery theme we had the jam con uh which of course you know did he not win somehow oh day two winner i got gotcha. you <laughs> i was like who won the contest Looks like the winner of, I should be clear about who won what. So the winner of the SCP-5000 contest was Tanhoney. The winner of the JamCon 144 uh, hour contest was Rounder House, the ultimate winner. I have no idea what's going on with the Exquisite Corpse contest. I still, I never paid too close of attention as to what was going on. I think multiple people were writing parts of articles. I, I don't know, and that felt like a mess to me without... <laughs> felt like a mess, but then again, I didn't look into it too deeply. But then we had the Canon Renaissance Contest, which I think was actually a really good idea, and helped bring back several cannons. In fact, it doubled the size of one of my cannons, so I'm happy with that one. But beyond our contests, we also had two major fundraisers running this year. Uh, the first one started in November of 2019, but it wasn't over, and it's still not over, I don't think. It's still accepting donations. And that's the SCP Legal Fund fighting the uh, Russian trademark problem, uh, the Andre Duxon issue. Uh, that is still ongoing. We've I've done videos on that issue before, so I don't know that I need to totally rehash it. Uh, also, Gears. Uh, Dr. Gears was sick, had cancer, and I don't know if he, like, there hasn't been a whole lot of updates on it, but he raised about $30,000, and I understand that, uh, surgery went well. It doesn't mean he's necessarily, you don't cure cancer. Cancer is, uh, 
It's always going to be in your life once it's in your life once. But uh, he's alive and he's living. And that's something at least. We had a couple of really major uh, short films. Uh, we had the SCP-096 short film, which I did a review on this channel of. And we had the SCP Overlord short film, which I also did a review of on this channel. Both high quality SCP films. And I will say real quick, there's probably going to be stuff and, and it's in the short film uh, area that I'm probably going to be missing. So it's possible that, you know, I didn't uh, I didn't notice certain things that happened this year. So if you if you have a comment as to what you think the most important or the most important to you thing that happened this year in the SCP community is, leave it in the comments down below. No problem. Be nice to see what everybody else saw as the most important things. We also had a couple of, um, what's the best way to put this? Uh, we had many images on the SCP Wiki, old uh, legacy images for SCPs that should have been replaced a long time ago, finally being replaced. I could go over a huge list of those, but I'm not going to bother with it. But the uh, SCP Wiki's image replacement program has done a pretty good job. There's only one major, I think, plagiarized image left on the Wiki, and that's SCP-173. And technically, they got permission for the plagiarism after the fact, so they consider that to be all right. Uh, but other than that, they're doing pretty good. There was also, obviously, a little bit of drama back in May uh, where a couple of uh, SCP staff members were using their authorities and reputations in a, um, we'll say, skeezy way and kind of got called out for it and finally got dealt with properly. The anti-harassment team assures us, even though everything is completely private and they will never share any of their disciplinary actions or reasonings, uh, assures us that everything is fine and everything will continue to be fine and that they will take care of these problems. They will do a better job to take care of these problems in the future. And as for the channel itself, because this is important to me, right? There's a lot of stuff with the other SCP channels. You've got... Uh, Oh, shit. Sherm did his uh, Halloween uh, charity stream a while back. I've... I'm going to look at my analytics for this year. Take a look. Last 365 days. Perfect. I've gained 30,000 subscribers this year. I had four, just over 4 million views. Uh, and 344,000 watch hours. How many days is that? 344, 100, divided by 24, 14,000, let's divide that by 365, 39 years of watch time on my uh, YouTube channel. My content has been watched for a total this year alone of 39 years. That is uh, kind of amazing, actually. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, it's been a good year for me, anyway. Uh, <laughs> not so good a year for everything on the outside. Uh, and, and, and in many ways, not necessarily a great year for the SCP Wiki. A lot of shitty things have happened, but 2021's coming up. And with any hope, and, or I should say with any reasonable expectations in 2021, we hope to see better things happening. You know what I noticed? A little while back and we're getting, we're done with the video or the actual update but uh i noticed this on tuesday i think it was i lost 30 subscribers it was hilarious it was the day that i went in and was like very cl clearly to people was like please make sure to hit the subscribe button and i lost 30 subscribers that day and i've noticed actually and this is something i left looked up recently to understand kind of the whys of it uh especially since i took my break in october uh, every, when I upload a new video, I actually see a dip in subscriber growth rather than a growth. I think it's probably older subscribers seeing the videos pop up and be like, oh, I don't I don't like this guy anymore. Uh, but that was the, that's the most severe dip I've ever had in the entire area of my channel's history. And it happened right at the end of the year when I was thinking everything was going great. I hope I get another 30,000 next year. It'd be nice to end 2021 getting a gold, uh, not gold, a silver play button. But... Uh, who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button.
but only but only if you're not already subscribed <laughs> oh man i'm talking to you carl i wonder if i should just stick to carl every day I, every time i do that i try and think up a new name and like uh, i can i can do it i've done it before maybe i should just consistently hammer home carl i think that's a better idea yeah and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash d sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has including and i'm going to cover these people uh i'm going to be very clear about these people because it's the end of the year and i'd like to thank these people very specifically my big patrons dr j redacted uh Sinjariki, and morgan uh, who have all pledged above the $40 level, Sinjariki and Dr. J Redacted at $100 each. Uh, these are the people who, honest to God, without their support, it would be very difficult for me to continue to make these this content. I appreciate that kind of stuff more than I can really communicate properly. So, thank you very much, you guys. And, thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I will see you all again on Tuesday in 2021. Oh, man. This has been a bit of a year. <laughs>